Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to another Fallout 4 Mods Weekly. We are back with a ton of really cool mods and we're going to start off with an awesome new armor mod. And that is the Nimrout Military Expansion Pack by Nimrout. This mod adds a few very vanilla themed military armor options. There's a handful of different vests and private military uniforms, a large ballistic vest, a few different types of gas masks, a hazmat suit, and even a ghillie suit. All of which can be crafted at the chemistry station or found on gunners, raiders, and even minutemen at around level 15-ish. For the higher level stuff, you can find some of them a little bit earlier on. Now, these things are all very customizable at the Armorsmith workbench, where you can change the colors, add different ballistic weaves, add different bonuses if you're using AWKCR, of course, and just a lot of customizability with this one. Taking just the private military company outfit alone, you can turn that from a jacket and jeans all the way into a ghillied suit and have a million different colors in between. I really enjoy the vanilla theme with all of Nimrod's weapon and armor mods, and this one is just the same with that. Everything in here feels like it belongs in Fallout 4, yet it also adds a modern military theme to it. These are all really, really cool outfits and ones that I would personally use in my game if it wasn't for a few of my mods breaking load orders. I really, really enjoy having all of the color customization options along with this mod because having a ghillie suit that's bright green may not fit your load order, so if you're using green mods, you can turn it green. If your game is more fall and orange, you can do that too. Dead brown, white if it's winter, tan if it's a desert mod, say you're using uh, the Dust Bowl overhaul, we've got you covered because you can do just about anything with these armors. They're really, really cool. I especially like some of the custom gas masks that are available with this one. Super awesome stuff. Another great mod by Nimrout. Can't wait to see what else he does in the future. And if that wasn't enough, this mod is available for both PC and also Xbox One. So there you go. Up next we have the Advanced Plasma Pistol by JK Ruse 5 This is a very cool mod that will be getting its own mod review shortly because I really, really like this one. The Advanced Plasma Pistol takes the concept art from Fallout 4 with a plasma pistol that was seen on Hancock and makes it into its own weapon mod. There are a couple versions of this weapon that you can download, one of which will add this as a standalone weapon that will spawn anywhere that a regular plasma pistol would spawn. So that could be on gunners or different enemies in the late game, or you can download it as a replacer for the plasma pistol. Now, this won't replace all plasma weapons, but just the pistol variants. What it will actually do is take the original plasma weapon in Fallout 4 and make it only a rifle. It removes all pistol grips from it, and now it is just a plasma rifle, and if you find a plasma pistol, it will be replaced with this advanced plasma pistol here, which is a pretty interesting idea for a replacer that I haven't seen before. This weapon uses the vanilla alien blaster animations, and I actually really quite like it, especially that it uses the vanilla plasma cartridge that is used for the traditional plasma rifle. With that animation, it looks super sick to me. I love the glowing green effects on this one that rotate around the gun as you stand still and idle. It's a super, super cool one, and even the little sound effects that play when you reload it are very awesome. This is a very classic Fallout-styled weapon, and it fits perfectly into the game for me. Personally, I download this as the extra weapon mod rather than the replacer because I always like variety in my game, but however you want to do it, this is a super awesome energy weapon, no doubt, and it's a really, really cool release by JK Ruzo 5 and will be coming to Xbox sometime in the near future, as with most of JK Ruse's mods. Super awesome, and I highly recommend you download this one. For our next one, we have a really awesome mod for all of you Halo fans out there who have been waiting for a proper enemy to fight with your Mizraya Armory. We have Elite Infiltration by Kelkin. Elite Infiltration adds elites into the game. As enemies, they replace all of the raiders, and even better, they are dynamically named. And what that means is when they spawn with a piece of armor, they are named after the armor they are using for Example, Halo fans will know that an Elite Miner will be spawning with the basic blue Elite Armor. And an Elite Major will have a reddish orangish tint. These ones are specifically using the Halo Reach models, so if you know what a Halo Reach Elite Major looks like, that's what it is. Same goes for the Ultras, Spec Opses, and Generals. Every Elite you can imagine from Halo Reach is in this mod, along with five weapons from Halo. That's correct, we have the Energy Sword, Needle Rifle, Plasma Repeater, the Fuel Rod Cannon, and the Plasma Turret. All of which will be used by the new Elite enemies and can be picked up from their corpses. Now their first person models and animations and sights are a little bit funky. 
I think they're really meant to be playing against them rather than picking them up yourself, but you do have the option if you want to try them. They work flawlessly in third person, but first person, again, a little bit funky. Except that energy sword. That one is really nice. I had recently discovered that this mod author had also created the same exact mod, but for brutes, that replaces the super mutants with brutes. And now we have this mod for raiders, so you really can make Halo and Fallout now, and uh, you believe that we are doing a mod bundle on that sometime in the future. But in the meantime, if you really want to slay some elites, this is the mod for you. Now that we have some really cool elites to fight against in Fallout, it just so happens that yet another Halo mod came out this week, and that is the UNSC Marine Corps BDU by Curdy. So now you can fight against elites and dress up as a Marine. We already had Mizraya Armory and some of those other Spartan Armor mods, but I don't think we've had one for Marines specifically. To add in the most basic form of infantry from Halo, now we have it. All of these outfits are craftable at the Chemistry Station. You get two different BDUs, two different hats, and a backpack. One of these outfits is going to be your standard armored infantryman with a helmet, and the other is going to be a scout with rolled up sleeves and a cap, both of which look amazing. Having two Halo mods like this and two that go so well together, Marines fighting elites, it's a really, really cool week for Fallout 4 modding. Now, this mod itself doesn't come with any weapons, however, we've already have Miss Raya Armory, as well as a couple of other standalone weapon mods for Halo that you can download, works perfectly together. These are super, super cool. I really, really hope somebody takes all of these amazing Halo mods and combines them into one gigantic mega mod full of leveled lists and all that beautiful goodness because having UNSC Minutemen would just be, well, that would just be cool. <laughs> and for our final mod this week, we have the AN94 by Warfighters Workshop. We actually just put this full review up on the channel and it is a whopping 10 minute mod review, but there is just a ton of stuff packed into this one weapon mod. so. I kind of had to do it to them. This is an amazing version of the AN94. I know we got one a very long time ago for Fallout 4 modding, but this one just has all the bells and whistles that make the AN94 such a unique weapon, and they actually got it into the modded version. For example, it has a canted magazine, so it is tilted just to the side. The reason for that is because it has a very unique firing mode, which is a super fast burst of the first two shots of any burst of rounds. Even if you're doing a full auto burst, the first two shots will always be super duper fast with minimum recoil, followed by a constant stream of automatic fire afterwards. It is very unique to the AN-94, and it's one of the reasons that it's not really a mainstream weapon because it was technologically it, just crazy. <laughs> it was an experimental prototype and it never really saw mainstream use. And that is actually something that's featured in this mod. It does have that burst mode, which is really cool. It also has the moving barrel, which moves back and forth as the weapon shoots as a form of recoil control. That is also existing in the mod, which is something I didn't think would be able to be done, but hey, there's always surprises in Fallout 4 modding. This is one of those weapons that will not be added to the level list because it's just too unique of a weapon, and for once it actually makes sense not to be in the level list. However, there are unique versions you can find all throughout the world with blueprints that are present in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. You'll also find that a lot of the attachments and camouflages that are available with this mod are also from Modern Warfare. And the camo unlock system in this mod is really, really cool. You have to have items from different creatures in the wasteland, which makes you actually need to go and kill things to upgrade your weapon. Unlike other mods, it doesn't have to be with this weapon, but you do need to farm those items in order to unlock them. Really, really cool idea. And with that, our video comes to a close. If you want to check out that AN94 mod, go ahead and check out the video because there is a full in-depth review with way too much information that you probably didn't even need, but it's there if you want it. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like. It gets us into the algorithm and gets more mod recommendations to the people that need them. And if you want to see more mods weekly in the future, consider subscribing. We've got plenty more to come and a handful of these episodes already on the channel, as well as standalone mod reviews. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I really hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one. Peace.